Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tim Shaves. Today, uh, yeah, I'm excited for the shave. I'll be participating in one of the tags that uh, IMCDB tagged me in. That is the Franken shave. I'm gonna be using some um, hodgepodge of different shading creams. Uh, yeah, and uh, apply that as a lather and see how it goes. Hope you guys are having a good day, a good weekend, this uh, Labor Day weekend. Just relaxing um, with your families and yeah, should be a good time. All right, so what are we using today for the software? I uh, pulled out all the shaving creams that I have, including a one that doesn't lather, but I'll be using that as a pre-shave. That, that are these guys here over here. Palm olive, shave cream, cremo, Parasa Green and Gillette Pure. And I'll be using all of these today for the thinking shave. I already got it. Kind of a Palm Olive, Gillette Pure, Parasa. And then, as for Cremel, I'm not gonna mix it in because it doesn't matter, but it has an insane amount of slickness. So I'm just gonna use that as a pre-shave. Quick, let me wet my face. And put that pre shave on it. Yeah, this stuff um, doesn't lather, but uh, it's insanely slick. You could kind of see a white film, but uh, hmm, it smells kind of a. Uh, has an orange tone to it, but a bit, I don't know, a bit weird. <laughs> it's not a fresh orange. All right, I'm gonna put some water on there, make it a bit more hydrated. I got an invisible film of lather right there. And I'm gonna get started loading the brush. And brush of choice for today, I'm gonna be revisiting um, haven't used this in a while. This is the the Yaki Mocha Express. It's a 26 millimeter two band badger. It's got a thick handle, the 2C. <laughs> and uh, ooh, this this thing still has that EOB essence of badger. I haven't used this in probably five six months. Ooh, man, I thought I cleaned this out, but uh. I guess it's still maintaining that scent. Kind of a musky, <laughs> musky scent. But I actually enjoyed this brush a lot. It's a bulb badger, which I don't, um, I don't prefer to fans. I like fans better, but this one uh, has a really nice face feel. So I'm just gonna squeeze out most of the water there and uh, let's get on loading. Here we go. Starting off pretty uh, pasty, but uh, excuse the clinking. The Captain Choice Bowl, uh, it's it's a bit on the smaller side, but if you are a kind of a daily shaver, wanting to uh, get in, get out, uh, enjoy a more of a quicker shave, I think this will be a good uh, bowl for you. It's also kind of a vintage looking ceramic bowl. I, I do like that. But uh, yeah, it's lo loading up quite well. And I'm um, just gonna put one more drop of water and that should do it. I don't think I put too much cream. Um, Especially for a natural hair badger, uh, 26 millimeter, it's gonna eat up some lather. But uh, I think I put plenty to last for a at least two pass, but I'm pretty sure it'll last a three pass shade. All right, this is uh, loading up quite well. Just gonna mix it in real quick, and that should be good to go. All right, got a good amount in that bowl, good amount loaded up, and let's get on lathering. 
Excited to try this brush again. It's been a while. A little bit more water. Here we go. Mmm. Mm. It smells really nice. I got that palm olive clean scent right away. And this is uh, getting pretty thick. You could tell it's gonna need more water. Mm. Get the menthol coming from Paraso. The Gillette Pure is not as present, but it kind of meshes together. Look at that. It's a cream galore. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna add some more water here, real quick. This is uh, feeling pretty thirsty. Mm. The handle is quite big, but uh, I could get a good grip on it. It should be fine. Man, look at that. Not bad. Not bad at all. Just clean this up. Hmm. Full of lather. Should be plenty for the entire shave. Just clean this up. Yeah, the handle is a it's an octagonal shape, eight sided. I like it. It's a shape like a mocha coffee pot. Yeah, it's got a nice transparent or translucent uh, bottom to it. Very enjoyable. All right, let me clean it up. Ooh, that's a lot of slickness. To tell. Not bad. A little on the airier side, but uh, should be fine. As for the razor today, I'm gonna be going with a new acquisition that I got uh, earlier this week or late last week. That is the Razor Rock Eco. Uh, I've been seeing these in a lot of videos. Jimmy from NYC Wet Shaving, um, he loves it. Um, Glenn Hilly, I saw him use it a couple times. Thomas the Shaver has the same exact colored one. So I wanted to get a try out. Got a got it for a good deal. I have it with a crown blade on its first use. Interesting thing about this razor is that it has a bit of roughness to it. Uh, it's not the smoothest razor out there. Um, it can be efficient, but the, the angle is very tricky with this one for me. Um, yeah, just a <laughs> very tricky razor to work with, but I'm trying to figure it out. Um, I found that riding the guard um, to more perpendicular rather than riding the cap, it, it's a, it feels better to me. When I ride the cap, it feels very scrapey on the face. So I'm gonna ride the guard. Um, and since this is a light razor, uh, it tends to, or just a blade angle and the exposure, quite a bit of exposure on there. Um, it, it just catches onto my stubbles and uh, tugs a bit, so I'm gonna try to keep a stern hand, uh, not to, um, just to make sure to guide the razor throughout my face. So let's see how it goes. Um, my first first time was pretty awful. Second time I changed the angle, felt better. Third time felt better, and my last shave was a, uh, it was awful again. <laughs> so a uh, half a uh, fifty and fifty with this razor. Here we go. Let, let's see how it goes. First pass with the grain. It's got a ton, ton of feedback.
In terms of aggression, I thought it would be a medium aggressive razor, but the more I use it, uh, it feels more aggressive to me. It reminds me of my PAA Bakelite double open comb slant. That kind of aggression. But now that I, um, I mean, this is a one day of growth, so it, it's gonna have a bit easier time. When I shaved off my two days of growth yesterday with this, um, it, it had a pretty rough time. Yeah, I could feel it tugging just a bit. But it's not bad as a one day pass or one day growth shaver. I will say that's pretty good. Um, slight tugging, but relatively comfortable. You rinse up, go for a second pass. Ah, yeah, plenty of slickness. With those creams, I think the creme provides extra slickness. Uh, right here. Yeah. Probably shave off the residual for sure. I'm feeling a lot of slickness here. All right, plenty on the brush. Don't want to waste that. Here we go. Just paint that on. And since I already scrubbed a bit in the first pass, don't ooh, almost dropped the brush. Don't want to do it again. Not want to further irritate my face with some potential potential brush burn. So keep it at that. All right, let's go for that second pass. Should be a bit easier on the razor as uh, there's less stubbles. Here we go. <clears throat> Cross the green. I'm using just a slight bit more pressure, just keeping a stern hand. So I think I really can't uh, use a extreme light pressure with this razor. It feels like it needs a bit more, a little bit more pressure and a bit of guiding from the hand. Or else it will skip the blade will kind of jump across the face. So using slightly more pressure, but still relatively light. And I'm using a more perpendicular angle right in the guard, as I said. I'm doing a pretty good job. I would say so far. And both my good shades with this razor, it was on a one day of growth. And I'm in a one day of growth again today. So that could play a part into it. Last week, uh, I fell a bit behind on washing fellow wet shavers, so if you get a comment from me from like from videos from like four days ago or six days ago, yeah, I'm just trying to catch up. Um, the tip from uh, Shave 326 is kind of helpful. Uh, speeding up the videos, uh, they'll all talk like chipmunks, but uh, yeah. I could get to the points a bit faster and still watch the entire shave. 
All right. The rinse up, go for a, a clean up pass. I might do clean, uh, two clean up passes, just to do, um, get a bit closer on the chin. That's just my goal. Oh man, look at that, plenty to work with. So we're gonna do a clean up on the chin and the neck and do that same thing against the grain. But this one is across the grain going that direction. Yeah, the angle of this razor is uh, interesting. Definitely feels different from a, a DE razor or even an artist clip uh, SC razor. It just kind of feels like its own. All right, double chin pass. And for me, I wouldn't uh, recommend this to a beginner. Although it seems like it's targeted towards beginners on Italian Barber. Um, I would say someone with more, a little more experience would uh, be able to use this razor more efficiently. Because um, when I first used it, it felt really rough. And I don't think a beginner would enjoy the, that experience. I mean, it could be different, but uh, just coming from my experience, um, it was hard adjusting to it. All right, pretty good. Let me do against the grain pass really quick. Still plenty of leather here. No need to go back to the bowl or to the creams. Just gonna do a quick against the grain pass. Here we go. Oh man, the video is going a bit longer than the usual. That's okay though. A lot of feedback from this razor. All right, let me uh, rinse off or wipe off some of the lather, stretch, skin stretch a bit. All right, yeah, it still catches some of the uh, stubble, so it's an efficient razor, but it's got a lot of feedback and can feel a bit rough, but uh, I think that did pretty well. I didn't uh, chase after the BBS, I just went for a slightly closer shave. Let me rinse up and see how it went. Still plenty of residual slickness left. I think uh, combining those creams and the creme au pre shake worked really well. All right, not bad. I do have some blemishes throughout from yesterday's shave and, but uh, not bad, pretty clean shave. Yeah, and pretty close on the chin and the neck. So a success today with the Eco Razor, but I'm just gonna confirm it using the Razor Rock Allen block. See how much sting 
stinging sensation that I get. Yep, a bit. There is a bit there. It's not unbearable, but I do feel some stinging sensation. But uh, let's say that's uh, an acceptable amount. It's just a decent shave for me. Now I'm gonna have to test out the razor on a two day or three days of growth just to make sure that uh, yeah I could I could use it on any kind of growth because if if I can only use it on a one day of growth I think that's not a that's not a razor for me I would like to be able to use it on any situation or any type of growth a versatile razor is kind of what I'm looking for. Now I have plenty of razors to use, but I don't know. I like I like some challenges, some new feeling. Um, yeah, just uh, being able to experience the variety in wet shaving, and also do it on a on a cheap cheap sometimes. Doesn't have to be the most expensive thing in the world, but you could do it if you want. I just like to go for a bit more budget options uh, if I can. With that said, excellent shave. Um, yeah, I do have some blemishes here and there, but. Uh, not bad overall. That was my Franken shave. Um, yeah, so hopefully um, you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. This is Tim Shaves, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> see ya.